If you were to hire or fire someone based on their race, that would be a bad thing. And it would be racist. I think we would all agree. But what I'm learning from these stories today is that it's not actually racist as long as you're firing someone because they're white. That white people, well, they don't get that same protection, apparently. Taking a step back, the story all starts with Amanda Gorman, who you probably recognize as the young black woman who recited her poetry during Joe Biden's inauguration. And granted, she was already popular before that and she was award-winning, but since, she has become a rising star. Especially Democrats, they seem to love her and can't get enough of her. And so it stands to reason that people would want to translate her poetry into other languages, which is what we're seeing here. We have two instances of people who were initially hired to translate her work who were then subsequently fired or forced to resign because they were white. The first instance of this was with Mariek, who was hired to translate her work into Dutch. Now, Mariek is an award-winning author. He's apparently the youngest author ever to win the International Booker Prize, which I know nothing about, but that sounds like a good thing. The problem is, he's white. And so there was a lot of uproar that he was the one hired to translate her work. So much so, the publisher was criticized for picking a writer for the role who was not also black. And it got so bad that he was essentially forced to resign because there was far too much uproar. Now, this gets even worse when you consider the fact that Amanda Gorman herself is the one who chose Mariek to do the translation. She chose him, but that's not good enough for people who are upset about this because he's white. Her opinion is irrelevant, and white people can't translate work by black artists. That's what I'm gathering here. Janice Duell, who was a Dutch journalist, but more accurately, an activist, said that it was incomprehensible that Mariek was hired in the first place, that you need to have a spoken word artist who is young, a woman, and unapologetically black. And then she tried to defend herself, saying, I'm not saying a black person can't translate white work, and vice versa, but not this specific poem of this specific orator in the Black Lives Matter area. That's the whole issue. Now she, just like all the people upset with this, are disregarding the fact that this specific orator chose this specific author to do this translation of this specific work. But that's irrelevant because he's white. That's all that really matters here. It doesn't matter that he's an award-winning author. It doesn't matter that he was chosen by Amanda Gorman herself, or at least her publicist. None of that matters. All that really matters is that Mariek was white, and so he can't really accurately translate Amanda Gorman's poetry which doesn't really make any sense to me. And the thing that really gets me here is that, at least as far as I can tell, Amanda Gorman has not come to his defense at all. She is the one who picked him to do the translation. He receives a ridiculous amount of backlash for no real reason, and she seems to be pretty quiet about it, not defending him in any way. That's a pretty jerk move, if you ask me. But this is just the first story. We have another to go. Before we get into that, if you appreciate getting news and information like this with facts and source-based content, be sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell. Also, leave a comment and a like. I'd really appreciate it. Moving on, there was yet another translator who got into trouble because he was white. His name is Victor, and he was working to translate her poetry into Catalan, which I'm not really familiar with, but, you know, it's another language. After he completed the project, however, the publishers said that they weren't going to go with it. They wanted someone who was a woman, young activist, and preferably black. So he had already finished the work, and then the publisher said, actually, we're going to go in a different direction. Now, I do need to point out that at the very least, he is still getting paid for it, so there's that, but he's losing this opportunity to increase his renown and make a name for himself by translating what is right now a very popular poem. So he's getting paid for it, so that's something, but he's not being allowed to have his name on this at all, which is, I, I think, a pretty big blow to an artist or an author. And thankfully, Victor actually has a backbone. He said, if I cannot translate a poem because she is a woman, young, black, and American of the 21st century, neither can I translate Homer because I am not a Greek of the 8th century BC or could not have translated Shakespeare because I am not a 16th century Englishman. And that is 100% correct. The criticism that people like this are getting right now because they're white, trying to translate Amanda Gorman's poetry, is similar to the criticism that Brian Cranston got just two years ago when he was hired to play a disabled character in the movie The Upside. And there was a lot of backlash because people were so upset that Brian Cranston is playing a disabled character when an actual disabled person could have played that character instead, which is accurate. But the reason he was hired was not to spite disabled actors. He was hired because he's Brian Cranston. He has name appeal and renown that very few actors have in the entire world. So hiring him was a business decision because they wanted to make more money and have a good actor. 
That's all it was. Should they have chosen someone who was less well-known, who would bring in less money because they were disabled? The point here is that we shouldn't have only specific people able to translate specific pieces of work or play a specific character. That's not how it works. That's not how any of this works or how it should work. This is one of my big issues with identity politics. If you are so ingrained in your identity that you think that only a young, black, activist woman can translate Amanda Gorman's work, well, by that logic, no one should ever be able to translate her work because no one has her lived experiences. No one knows exactly what it means to be Amanda Gorman. And if that's the goal, then the only real feasible option here is to have Amanda Gorman learn every single language in the world and translate it herself. Because even if you get a young, black activist woman, well, she's still not quite the same as Amanda Gorman. And that's why I think this is all just a little bit crazy here. If you are qualified, you should be able to perform whatever task you are hired for. Your race should not be an issue. But we're seeing that it is. From the very same people who talk about systemic racism all across the country and all across the world in some cases, they are the ones saying you cannot do X because of your race. That sounds racist to me. Anyway, those are just my thoughts on this topic, but what do you think? Do you think it's fine to have someone who is white translate the work of someone who is black? Well. Probably, but you know, if you don't, let me know why in the comment section down below. Anyway, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.